Generally speaking, uh, if I go by calendar year, I'd say January, February are spent making plans. We are planning out what crops we're going to plant, what varieties, what maturity ranges, what different fields will have these different things. Uh, March is spent getting machinery ready and getting our seed into the shop or the shed wherever we're going to put it. Also lining up our herbicides and fertilizers that we'll need for the spring planting. In April, usually um, 10th to 15th of April, we're thinking about getting out in the field in this area, trying to open up some of these fields, do a little bit of tillage. We'd like to try and start planting corn by the 20th of April, weather permitting, if we have you know, a pretty decent spring. If it gets wet, then we're looking at about the 1st of May. Um, generally try and finish up planting corn by about the 5th to the 10th of May, then we move into soybeans. Um, we like to put starter fertilizer on with our corn, so that sometimes slows things up a little bit, but really not so bad. We try and do um, all of our nitrogen in the midsummer if we can, to save losing any to groundwater or anything like that. Uh, as the soybeans finish up, usually about the end of May or thereabouts, then we start right into uh, spraying and cultivating. We'll be spraying for weeds out there in the cornfield first. And as the crop progresses, the corn is always going to be taller, so that gets sprayed first. Then we moved into soybeans, spraying for those. Um, that generally is your June, June, July type of things. Uh, July, August is spent uh, scouting fields. You're out there walking through those fields, looking for weeds, looking for insects, looking for plant diseases. More so soybeans than in corn. We don't have quite so much problem with corn up here as uh, you would say in Missouri or Illinois or even southern Iowa. They have more of the corn diseases like the different types of uh, wilts and mildews and stuff that end up being a problem in a warmer climate. Uh, then if you move from August, September, we're looking for aphids and soybeans. Um, a lot of bugs. If we have a bad enough infestation, then we're spraying for aphids in uh, July, August. Uh, we hit September, we're kind of getting things prepared for harvest, we're getting the bins cleaned out, um, getting combines ready, getting tillage implements ready to go. Late September and October are spent in harvest, and here we are, 25th of October, we're doing some fall fertilizer and tillage work. And then we move into November, December, it's taxes. So <laughs> that's kind of what we hit.